name is Charlotte Posner. I've got my studio here in Bromley by Bow, so welcome. I am primarily a painter, but I'm a creative, so I don't like to put myself in a box. A lot of things inspire me, things around me, things I see, from nature to the city to art galleries to everyday objects. To me, art is within me. It's an addiction. I have to paint, I have to draw. Uh, when I travel, I take a suitcase filled with my artwork. It's part of who I am. It's like eating and breathing to me. And I've always, it's like, it's like a habit now. So I have to be able to have a palette with me. You know, if I'm going out even, I put a diary in my bag, I've got a drawing pen with me, I've got my palette, even if I go away for the weekend, I've got my art palette with me, my watercolours. So art for me is life. When I finished school, I applied to numerous of universities in London, Manchester, Leeds, and I was lucky enough to get into all of them. The one that my teacher recommended is that I went to Chelsea College of Art and Design. When I arrived, I thought that university would be, it was an art school, I was doing fine art. I assumed that I was going to be doing painting, drawing, life drawing, quite traditional artwork, but it wasn't like that at all. You get into the, the course and it is very conceptual, so it's all about the thinking behind the work. And I, was, I went, I knocked on the door, I was like, where's life going? And what is going on here? And I was absolutely shocked that art school didn't offer that. So the first year I actually really, really didn't enjoy university. I didn't like the teaching methods. It was very, it was so interesting, but conceptual art and not the type of art that I did. And university didn't really support me for what I wanted. So I decided to go away to Canada and do a placement. So I went to Emily Carr in Vancouver and the teaching structure there was much, much better. It was, you know, we did pattern design, we did drawing, we, we got given a scope of eight different classes a week. It was more structured, the teaching was fantastic. I learned so much and my artwork boomed while I was there. When I came back to Chelsea, I then started to appreciate the freedom I had at art school because Canada was very consuming, it was very much structural based. When in London, it's very free. So you get your studio space and they say do whatever you want, you've got access to an amazing library, you have tutorials once a week as well but it's very very free and from then on I decided to embrace it and I took a different, it was my vision, I took a different outlook, I wasn't negative about art school and I started to do my paintings the way I wanted to do them with my philosophies behind my work. And um, yeah, it worked out for the best for me in the end. I think if you find the right university for a creative, you need to find what you're into. It's very important to talk to the students previously and see how they teach. I've got a lot of favourite painters. My favourite painters are probably in the Impressionists. So I love Gauguin and Van Gogh and uh, Picasso's work. I was just in Paris and I went to the Gauguin exhibition and his work is just breathtaking. The colours and the shape and the form within a piece. So when I'm painting a flat canvas, I do I look at shape and form within the work. So I don't see it as a... Um, if, if you're given a canvas, you sit there and you're like, okay, paint a painting. What do you paint? How do you paint it? What colours do you use? And it's all about mapping out and seeing shape, form, structure within a work. So um, Gauguin does that very, very well. I feel like I'm at the beginning of my career, always. I think when you create or you're a creative, you're never ever satisfied and you're always driven to do more and go beyond your expectations. And I feel like that drive makes me create more. And if I didn't have that, if I was satisfied, I'd sit back and stop. But I'm so keen to develop. I think. Throughout your life, you can always grow and learn, however old you are, and there's always something new and available and you have to keep your eyes open and look for new things around you. I feel like today's day and age, if you're starting out, 
my advice is to get onto social media, get your stuff out there, make a platform. It's so easy to do a blog or a vlog, get onto YouTube, get onto Twitter, get onto Tumblr, get onto Instagram and push your stuff out there because you never know who's going to see it. And you can network so amazingly with people and meet the most incredible. I've met so many people through Instagram. I don't have a huge following, but it's, it's been amazing the people you can connect with and the varsity of people seeing your work. It's not like you're stuck in one place anymore. If you're an artist and you've just finished art school, university, if you can help it, try and make time for your own work. So find a space that's your creative world and push it, push it, push it, push it. 